What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Young Crypto, and I'm back with some heat. Before we get into the video, if you want to stay tapped into whatever I'm doing, here's my Twitter right here. You can give me a follow. I'm going to leave a link below to all my information. And honestly, the projects I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to leave a link below for them too. If you want to stay tapped into what they have going on. Also, I got a giveaway going on. You just give me a follow, I mean a subscription, leave a comment below. You'll get entered in. Any questions you want to leave, any hate you want to leave. This might be a little controversial to some people, whatever. Leave it below. But with that being said, let's get into the video. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about NFTs that I'm not going to be minting. And I'm going to tell you exactly why. You know, crypto is not a hater. You know, crypto does not fuck. I keep it real. So I'm going to let you guys know exactly what I'm thinking and why I'm making this video. But before we get into all of that, let me click out of this tab. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. But uh, now nah, Hate Beast is the first NFT project I want to talk about. And uh, Hate Beast is a very hyped up project. I think it's done by uh, Board 8 Yacht members. They have really cool artwork, as you can see, very high quality. All this stuff looks cool. Not gonna lie. I think they have, well, I know they definitely have over 100,000 Discord members. The Discord chat is very active. They already have over 100,000 followers on Twitter. They're so popping and they haven't even dropped yet. And everybody's saying you should get in hate beast. You should you should go do hate beast. And the reason why I'm saying I'm not gonna do what everybody else is doing and go in hate beast is because number one, it's incredibly difficult to get the whitelist. You have to you have to basically live in that Discord and just type and kiss ass forever. Like I don't like the whole the whole aspect of kissing ass and all this stuff. And it's just it's just I think there should be a different way or different ways for people, you know, to be a part of the project. And I'm not mad at the way uh, NFTs are going. It's just something that I don't really want to participate in because there's plenty of good projects that are dropping that you don't have to go through all this and have good communities. Just they're not as big. Uh, this this is about to be a crazy drop, though. I don't know how it's going to do. I can't predict it. Uh, let's look at the website really quick. See, I'm not fudding. I'm just keeping it real. I'm not going through all this. And listen, if anybody's in hate beast and can give me a whitelist, give me a whitelist. For real, I'm not hating. Give me that whitelist. But I'm not putting all this work in uh, and, and typing in and going through all this. But this is very, look, you can see like how well this is. And I, I think they're doxxed. Uh, let me see. Yeah, they're all docs, all have their Twitter. So I mean, they're docs to some at some level. Um, let's see, let's just click one guy. Yeah, maybe they're not docs, but whatever. It looks dope. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're not meant that. And the same thing goes for Psychedelics Anonymous. Uh, this project also is big. They're almost at 100K. And you can see the artwork also looks cool. Like this is fire. The, the 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 quality of this is also very high level and it's done by a board eight member but the thing about it is this dude right here <clears throat> his followers shot up like crazy i think he was at like 30k like two months ago or a month ago when he started this process and uh i was following him he used to just do like giveaways and uh yeah man he just started saying giveaway giving away whitelist and made it incredibly it got crazy and I wasn't able to get it on his Twitter and uh, I'm not gonna lie I'm salty about it and uh, I'm not just going through the ringer like you can see how much responses all his things get like I'm one out of 36k it's not happening and uh, I mean I try I keep trying but I'm not just gonna waste my time following him putting post notifications on when I could be focusing on something else um, let's take a look at their website real quick Eh, I guess it's not really up yet. But uh, his Discord was really hard to get into by the time I was able to get into it, or even if the link was still up. There were so many people in it already. They just like, I don't know. The access, the, it's not easy to access. And uh, 
I think you have to reach a certain level or a certain point to where these things are easier for you to access to where it's worth your time. And what I mean by that is, I feel like once you acquire a certain level of NFTs and you're in a certain amount of communities, then you're able to get and be a part of these things a lot more easier. Um, but uh, yeah, with that being said, it's your boy on Crypto. I'm going to continue to look up these new projects and review them and give my opinions. And uh, you guys let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with how I feel? Do you feel the same way I feel? Do you feel differently? How do you guys feel? What projects are you guys looking at? You let me know. That being said, y'all have a nice day.